like a famous quote that opens the book says Eon Inovich has died and the frankness and the suddenness at which that quote is said and that statement is said by a supposed friend of Elon Ilovich shows how Europeans were thinking about death. Like it was a conversation that was that needed to be had and it was a discussion that needed to be frank. But it was also something that deeply frightened the Europeans at the time. Uh, the, the time period known as the long 19th century was a like it was like it would lead it was such a great deal of time from 1789 to 1914 that going into like this new era this new era of the 20th century which everything was just up in the air and people didn't know like Europeans didn't know what was going to happen to them and what was going to happen to their countries. Like, society was, society in Europe at the time was getting very volatile, and things were in place that was happening that would be set up, like, later during the 20th century, in, like, one of the greatest, conf in one of the largest conflicts of world history, World War One, the, the first official war conflict, but, like, we know about the Crimean War that happened earlier in the 19th century, the long 19th century. So these, so like these, to, this topic of death, this like death was very important to the European mindset because they had dealt with a great deal of wars, like even after 1814 and Napoleon had been, been defeated, like war was still a constant in the European, like even like even though the Crimean War was on the fringes of Europe, it still was a European conflict. So death was immediate. Death war was an immediate thought to the mind of the Europeans, and and that's why a book such as the Death of Ivanovich would speak to a European. It would speak to that audience because most of them probably had lost a loved one or somebody or like a friend in the conflict, or like had died because. Death was just more common at that time. And so going into this going into the twentieth century after the law nineteenth century end and the law nineteenth century end in nineteen fourteen, so like there's like there is very harrowing prospects on the horizon for Europe and for the world. So like so death would be very big on the minds like of Europeans and that's why the death of Ian Ilovich speaks to me and it spoke to them because it shows of how and like and because of death was such a ill portent and it was it was so immediate into the minds of the people reading at the time. Like there was also discussions of what, of like how to live your life, of how, of how should you live. Yeah, how, what was a good life, and you shouldn't, and what was a wasted life. Like, this is like, um, this is like perhaps the major theme of the death of Eon Ilovich was life, and how Eon, e I was comment. Of how Ivan wasted his life basically on frivolities and stupidity and things that didn't matter. So, like that would be a very powerful thing to somebody who had some who had like a father of somebody fighting war, and and who was like living at a time when war was not. Let's be honest, was not like an impossibility. And Ivan Ilovich, and like that fear of having a waste of life was also a fear of like being left behind. Yeah, like in like living a bad life, like in like when you're old, like you think about how your life is wasted. <clears throat> and so, like older people would also be thinking about 
of like middle aged men, like older people and male, people that are like middle aged, will like be thinking about will I be left behind as we enter this new century, this new era, like this, like this whole new thing that I have nothing to like. My whole life has been lived in the long nineteenth century, a period like that lasted over well over a hundred years. So entering like into this new period, like it would been it would have been very, it would have been terrifying. It would have been harrowing to like because you couldn't see what what was on her horizon because the way that things have been done have been done for over a hundred years. So this was just like everything was just up in the air and they didn't know what to do. So so the death of Ian Elvis would have been a very harrowing read and a very important read at the time. And Ivan Ilovich also speaks to like the hypocrisy of the higher classes you know, and has very clear opinions on that. And Tolstoy has very clear opinions on that. And his opinions were shared by many people entering in the 20th. And like, why should we, and like we as like the lower classes of Europe at the time, why should they be beholden to these higher classes that are nothing but hypocrites and fools. And the hypocrisy and truth and like the aristocracy was being challenged at the end, like during the end of the 19th century. And why should we be beholden to these people who know nothing, who learn nothing, and do nothing? It's not the Middle Ages anymore to them. So that's what they would be thinking. Like, I'm a modern person. I live in a modern time. Why am I beholden to these people? Why do we still have kings? Why are people who have more money than others? And these ideas were gaining a lot, and these ideas were gaining a lot of traction at the time. And that's why in World, in World War One started due to a Siberian anarchist. So you can see how death, the death of Ion Elevich points to, like, the falseness of higher class European life of bourgeoisie European life and how the lower classes would come to hate that sort of life. So the death of E.I. Ilovich is a very important novel. It's one of the most like one of the most important novels of the nineteenth century, especially of the late nineteenth century. And besides all that, it's very well written. It's it's an engaging read, it's an engaging listen. So the main points of this presentation would be the definite Ilya Ilovich was on point in showcasing the Europeans and showing how the Europeans were thinking about death at the end of just such a, a massive period of time, well over 100 years, about 115 years, I believe, from 1789 to 1914. So, like, there was so much uncertainty. It also, and due to that uncertainty, there was also an anxiety of about living a bad life going to the century, into this new century and being left behind as like a middle aged person or an older person and not being and not wanting that for yourself. And that was also very important to like the Europeans at the time to not live, you know, a bad life or a life that was unfulfilled as a middle aged person. Death of Ion Ilovich also has very clear opinions on the state of European society and the higher classes of European society and the bourgeoisie of European society. And has very, and like, these ideas that were expressed were going to be challenged soon and, these, and it would lead to one of the largest conflicts in world history. So it was a very important idea that, that was showcased in Ion Ilovich. So, so Death of Ian Ilovich in all in totality was a very important novella that showcased so many things. It showcases it showcases the psyche of Europe at the time. It showcases a great many ideas that were cycling through the circles of European society at the time. And it's a very important novel. And besides all that, it's a great read. So my name is Tawan Gordon and this is from my court and this and this is my report on the death of Elon Ilovich and that's the end of the oral presentation.